will continue to show the commitment to realizing the dream of a more efficient and inclusive public transportation system that every Filipino deserves. Thus, allow me to recognize the DOTR once again for reaching this milestone major investment. With the signing of these three contract packages that cover a total of around 14.9 kilometers of at grade and railway viaduct structures, we will be a step closer to our goal of serving around 800,000 commuters daily by 2029. I likewise thank our development partners, uh, the Asian Development Bank, the uh, J Japan International Cooperation Agency, for actively partnering with us in building our plans for the country. Let me also, of course, express my gratitude to the PT Adhi Kanya Percero and PTPP Percero TBK Joint Venture, the Leighton Contractors Asia Limited, the first Balfour Incorporated Joint Venture for working with us on these sections covered by the contracts that we have signed today. I cannot emphasize, first of all, our gratitude for your support, but uh, because these are crucial and it is uh, important that we have the right partners as this government continues to, to work to provide our people with the infrastructure that we feel is needed for our development. Your expertise and experience in construction will help realize this NSCR project. I am also happy to note that we are anticipating the generation of approximately 3,000 jobs once civil works for these sections begin. While that is the case, we must also recognize the plight of informal settler families, families who will be affected by the project, as well as the disturbances that the construction of the NC NSCR system will cause. So we continue, our, we are continuously conscious of, in the national government and of course the local governments to ensure that those needing assistance are attended to. These are the inevitable consequences of those that we, uh, of this large project. But it is uh, something that we have to go through if we are going to complete the projects as they have been designed and we will to be able to reap the benefits in the longer term. I also urge all concerned agencies to work together to address the potential challenges concerning project right of way such as the need for land acquisition and the relocation of utility poles installed along the area so that the affected properties are cleared in time for the commencement of civil works. I likewise ev urge everyone involved in the project to spare no effort to complete this monumental task for the benefit of generations to come. To our citizens, I also seek all your continued patience and understanding as you encounter interruptions from the constructions that we are undertaking I know that it is our collective longing to create a society that works for the people, that will open bigger opportunities for our children. So let us all remain united in this endeavor as we pursue initiatives with a long term end in mind. We look at these contract packages with great optimism and renewed hope for our country's future. Maraming salamat sa inyo lahat. Magandang umaga sa inyo lahat. Congratulations to the DOTR, to all our partners, our international partners, for this very important legacy flagship project. Maraming salamat. Mr. President, thank you for joining us today as we sign three contract packages covering the Metro Manila segment of the South Commuter Railway. Today, we signed the contract for three contract packages with two joint venture companies who must be able to construct a combined length of 14.9 kilometers of elevated and ground level rail tracks, including six modern train stations. These stations to be equipped with exciting features will rise at Blumentritt, Buendia, Edsa, Senate, Bikutan and Sukat. In line with our goal of transport interconnectivity, 
some of these stations will be linked to other rail systems. Blumentritt Station will have an elevated pedestrian connection with LRT1. EDSA Station will also have an elevated pedestrian connection to MRT3 Magallanes Station. Senate Station will be near the Senate Subway Station. Bikutan Station will share the same platform with the Bikutan Subway Station. These civil work contract packages will have a combined cost of more than 50 billion pesos. We will make sure this amount will be used by the winning contractors to build a world-class railway line equipped with the most modern facilities. The contractors must be able to build with least disruption to Metro Manila's daily routine. All it takes is interagency coordination and communication. We want to impress on the contractors the importance of meeting schedules so the whole NSCR project can be completed as promised. We will not tire thanking our financial partners for their support to this flagship rail project, the Asian Development Bank, Japan International Cooperation Agency, and the governments of Indonesia and Australia. We inch closer to completing this longest rail system of the country through their assistance. Once completed, the railway will trans transform lives and communities. Yesterday, we turned over socialized housing units in San Fernando, Pampanga to resident families affected by the construction of the NSCR. The social dimension of the project demonstrates that building railways benefit not just commuters, but also communities that lie along and near the rail lines. We are grateful the President is always supportive our, of our rail transport initiatives. At this point, may I invite everyone to watch an audiovisual presentation showing the highlights of this segment of the NSCR. Thank you and good morning. The North-South Commuter Railway System is a flagship project of the government and is co-funded by the Asian Development Bank and the Japan International Cooperation Agency. The 147-kilometer railway system that connects Clark International Airport and Calamba Laguna with 35 at-grade and elevated stations will be reducing travel time from more than 4 hours to less than 2 hours. The southern segment will have a total of nine contract packages which will be funded by ADB Loan Agreements L3796-PHI for the Malolas Clark Railway Project and 4188-PHI for the South Commuter Railway Project. Six out of these nine contract packages have been signed during ceremonies held last October 6, 2022 and April 27, 2023, both of which were witnessed by the President of the Philippines in support of the project's continuous milestones. May it inspire more worthwhile strategic and high-impact endeavors with the aim of improving the quality of lives of our countrymen by leaps and bounds. Today signifies a momentous event in the history of NSCR as the last three Southern Segment contract packages will be signed. Contract packages S01, S03A, and S03C.